Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are eating Cambodian food today. First time ever. Yeah, first time ever. But I heard that it's like pretty similar. Like they have similar characteristics to like Thai and Vietnamese yeah, food. Yeah, me too. So I think I'm gonna like it. We're gonna love it. Are you so kidding me? we're here. I don't know how to pronounce this right now. It's uh, to me, it's pronounced Phom Pei. Okay, I don't know. I think I think I think it's Phnom. Okay, Menol. Phen. Phenomenal. Phnom Phen. There you Is go. that what you said too? No, I said phenomenal. Oh, okay, that works. Too. I said uh, Phnom Peng. Oh, but I, I'm thinking F. I don't know. Phnom we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll see who's right. We'll see, we'll see. So before we start, I do want to ask you a quick question. How do you pronounce the name of your restaurant? Phnom Peng Noodle Shack. <laughs> oh, there was a little thing, like a little China. accent. Yeah, we. What is it? Wait, so you were closer. Phnom. Phnom. Peng. Peng. Uh huh. Phnom. Phnom. Phnom Peng. Phnom Penh. Yeah. Oh, Phnom Penh. I was kind of kind of like a Thai Phnom Penh. A house special, pumping noodle. House special. Ooh. Soup on the side. Ooh. Dry style. This is the beef, beef stew. stew. Mm. Fresh bean sprouts. Oh, cha. Mm. Oh my god. With like sweet garlic fish on the side. Thank you. Wow. Look at all of this food. So this is porridge, jiao. Um, what is this? Uh, lok cha. Lok cha. Lok cha. It's literally the jia thing. You, that looks so crazy. I can't wait to try it. Whoa. Okay, let's dig in. Here is a phnom penh noodle. We have a soup on the side. Mm -hmm. Normally what they do is they add your own condiments. You can just make, pretty much make up your own style of noodles. You got the limes, bean sprouts, Poison sauce, hot sauce, some pepper in there, throw some fish sauce in there, you just make it your own. And you eat it while you're sipping your soup. So you're grabbing some noodles and you're sipping your soup. Ah, oh, yeah. I like uh, that. So it's very Love flavorful, it. one bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then just a beef stew right here and porridge. And then how do you eat that? I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just yeah, kidding. You put it in your mouth. Right? There you go. <laughs> Oh, amazing. This looks so good. Yeah, yes. and Everything. this is a little cha. So it comes with a little bit of peanuts, fried egg on top, seafood. That looks so and nice. Our house made of fish sauce. So stoked. I'm so yes. stoked for it. So stoked. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Beef stew noodles. I, I want to know what the name is. They call it beef stew. They literally just call it beef stew. Oh, really? Yeah, the beef stew. Okay. The beef stew. The beef stew. So this is a beef stew with egg noodles. It has a shit ton of beef, meat, and tripe, and... Wait, how do you feel about tripe? <laughs> how do you feel about tripe? This is I, something I learned I'm about. actually not the biggest fan <laughs> of tripe. I, no, it's the texture for me. Biggest fan or fan at all, to <laughs> be honest. I'm not the biggest fan. <laughs> I can handle it, but it's not like... It's not, yeah. yeah, like if I had a choice, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things to get. A dim sum and pho. I want like so extra tripe. So you like tripe. the texture. Love it. It's like so kind of chewy and like like I cannot do that. Yeah, I love it. All right, so let's try. Here we go. This is this reminds me of like a um. I'm having trouble. This reminds me of like a um, baha. Yes. Baha is a beef stew in uh, Vietnam. It's a little thicker and has like carrots and stuff like that, and you eat it with a French baguette. Yeah. Bread or rice. Yeah. It's delicious. Come on, dude. Can I tell which one my chopsticks and which one's yours? Oh, this one's probably yours. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. You want to get a piece of meat? It's pretty tender, guys. Yeah. The meat is oh, super look at this. tender. Look at, oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you. I want like. Do you want some tripe? No. Okay. A little soup, a little greens. I knew egg noodles was a good choice. Yeah. Um, and looking at it right now, I can tell it's a great choice. So they have like options for soups and uh, noodles. You can like customize uh, your soup with your noodles. So I think that's really cool. Yeah, it gives you like many choices because even though it's the same dish, you can be like, oh, I want to change it up today and get rice noodles. Right. Thin or thick, you know? All right, soy. Mmm. I love that. It's so homey and comforting and like the um, flavors on it, um, what's it called? The seasoning is delicious. Like it's perfect, you don't need to add anything. Like, yeah. And I feel like it's one of those dishes where you can sit down and you're like, you eat so quick of it and you don't even know because it's so good and you're like. You guys know it's uh, fall now, winter's coming up. So this is like the perfect 
if you're tired of pho, which you probably won't be, but if you want to try <laughs> something okay new, it's okay if you are, you know? Right. Happens. Like, this is a really comforting dish. I love this. And it's very easy to eat. Very simple and straight to the point. Yeah. This one I rate a 10 out of 10. I I think everything's a 10 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah, because like, I've never had Cambodian food before. And stepping in, I was like, okay, like how different can it be from Vietnamese food? Because like, we use the same flavors and all that stuff. Right. It's different enough where I feel like, so it's shocked. a new experience. I'm so shocked. Yeah. So this is the house special. It's dry noodles. You, well, you can actually get it dry or with soup, but we got the soup on the side. So this is like a hokkiu. It's like a pho a strand type of noodles. So you get your noodles. Get your noodle soy. Get your proteins, proteins and veggies. They really loaded up here too because I yeah. got at least three or four shrimps. Right. And some places don't even give you two, so we right. love a good, uh, generous local spot. Mm -hmm. This is the soup that it comes with. There's like a giant piece of bone in it, by the way. Look at this. It's so big. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I love that. Got a bone to pick with. All right, one. so this is how you eat it. This is how you eat the dry noodles. So you get a mouthful. Let me get the soup ready. Oh yeah, soy soy's on it. Cheater. Get a mouthful of noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Then scooping some noodles. And it, just enjoy the flavors in your mouth. They just live there just and they live thriving there. and they, they want more. It's so good. Yeah. Oh my god. I just. Mmm. 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 The, the one thing that I really like about this place so far is that I haven't felt the need to add anything to it. You know? I just feel the need to eat more of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I saw this on the menu and I had to get it. You wanna show them this too? Mm -hmm. So this is porridge right here. I don't know if you guys could see this bowl of porridge right here. But I had to get it because I love porridge and I love the fact that it has like, um, it has the pork, uh, the blood cubes. And it has uh, quick, 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 yeah. yeah, liver, all the good stuff. And then I got some. What is it? Yo, this joy. is they call yeah, joy. This is your joy, um, like Chinese donuts. If you're familiar with that, have a <laughs> mantiu. Huge. This is Huge the biggest mantiu I've seen. And then this is kind of like an empanada. Yeah, yeah. It has like meat in there. They call it a meat pie. Meat pie, which is an empanada, basically. Yeah. yeah. But like, look how big these are, like, 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 hello? It's me, it's me. Pick up, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Joy, what's up? Hi, I'm eating right now. What oh my God, doing? carb on carb life, me too. What are you eating? The same thing you are. Whoa, okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Do you see how big they are? They can be telephones. I wouldn't be trying it. I'm super excited also because we saw that they fry it themselves here. They bake it. They make bacon. it themselves. Yeah, so yes. you're like, it's like. You're gonna grab a whole one? Me too. Or let's, let's share it. one. Let's share one. Ready? Let's break it. Whoever gets the bigger piece gets to make a dream come true. Ready? Set. Wow! Oh. Oh. The universe. <laughs> the universe said everyone's winning. <laughs> mm. The comfort this brings me. I feel like. I'm at my mom's house. They make it like Vietnamese style. Like, this is how uh, rice porridge is made, at least in my house. Yeah. Because you know it's different, even though everyone has rice porridge. Like uh, Korean is more like thick. Mm -hmm. And Vietnamese, we kind of use like, you can tell that it's like basically cooked rice, you know? Mm -hmm. And kind of like mixed in with the soup. Very comforting. Mm. Very comforting. Bomb. Dare I say the best yao jiao I've had. What? I actually haven't had any like yao jiao wai over here. Fresh mm. yao jiao wai. You know, some here. people eat this with pho. Interesting. Different regions, yeah. Mm. But honestly, I don't blame them. Yao jiao wai is like one of my favorite things. Yeah. I could probably eat it with like dipping in the beef and too. And it soaks up. It just soaks up so well. Yeah. It soaks ooh, up juices so ooh, well. Try, dude. Do try. You won't be disappointed. All right, so this is the Chinese donuts with the beef stew. It soaks it up so well. Tell me that's not good. Mm. Yeah? yeah? Delicious. What is this called? Locha. Lo so look at how interesting these noodles are. 
Um, they kind of resemble like udon noodles to me, mm -hmm. like uh, stir fried udon noodles. They remind me of the little jam. Yeah. You can eat. It. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see. That's why I didn't know. Sometimes I eat before you and I feel bad. So. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> so. You can eat it. Just by itself. It's great by itself. But they have this sweet fish sauce that's fucking phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Delicious, you guys. Give me some, give me some, give me some. There you go. And like, if you ever try, get a chance to visit this place and try this dish, I can guarantee you that... Try it without first and then try it Yeah, with. like it instantly changes the flavors and just like... I don't know, it just you makes want the clip? it you want to so try the clip better. so they can see? Yeah. Good. This place is actually 10 minutes away from my house. I can't wait to um We're gonna be here all the time. Yeah. I don't live where Toy lives, but I'll be here all the time. Yeah. Gives me a reason to visit Toy. Like, hey Toy, let's hang out. But really, <laughs> I'll meet yeah. you at the noodle shack. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm. So good. Alright, so out of everything here, which one's your favorite? I oh. knew you were gonna ask me and I knew what you wanted to try. It. Yeah. I knew you were looking at it. <laughs> it's okay. dessert. Should we try the meat pie first? Oh yeah, let's try the meat pie first. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ready? Yeah. Oh. 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 It has onions. It kind of looks like semi in the middle. Interesting smell. It has potatoes. Ooh. Mmm. Savory sweet. Sweet. Savory. Hmm. Why do I say sweet? There's hints of sweetness. Very sweet. Really? Maybe because I'm eating the, the dough part. You eat the part. Yeah. It's really sweet, the dough part. I don't want to eat the inside too much. Mm, I like that. Alright. Are you going to help me? Yeah, so. You think there's something in the middle? No. It's about to Well, sometimes, you know? Oh, whoa. It's like, whoa, we did it like in half again. Yeah, I know. Vietnam, every single day after school, my mom would drive to this uh, lady that's in front of my school, or like she would go to this lady in front of my school, and the lady would sell ban ba and uh, ban, ban tiu. Mm -hmm. The best thing ever. Like I look forward to that every single day, and this just reminded me of that. Really? And it's so close to your house. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, he's great. I don't have that memory about ban tiu, so I can't have the same nostalgic feeling, but I know it tastes good, and that's good enough for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Which one's your favorite? How do you always ask tough questions, dude? Right. Um. Eeny, meeny. Honestly, I give them all ten out of ten. So it's more of like, which one would I eat more and more of is the right answer. And I think it's the ball call. It's uh, mm. the ball call with the egg noodles for me. Ah. Me too. I think mine would have to be the locha. Very different. With the soy sauce. I mean, with the fish sauce. You just want to drink the fish sauce, though. Do you? Yeah, know like I, I, that's they. It's incredible. It's really delicious. Yeah. Um. Go follow soy. You guys can find more of me on Instagram and Twitter at Toy Debate, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.